Hey Madden friends, Master Chappy back for another part and the final part in what defines a good player in Madden 12 and here we are talking about secondary that includes corners, free safeties, and strong safeties and the most important stat for any one of these guys is going to be height. Yeah, height. I said it. And the reason for that is because height is going to be able to help you stop rocket catches, it's going to be able to help you stop fades, and it's going to be able to help you stop face throws which is by far one of the most effective ways to move the ball in the game. Um, so Brendan Flowers is, while he's a great corner, uh, I would keep him on like a slot because on the outside he's going to go up against guys like Ramses Barden and he's going to be helpless even though he's a good corner. So, you know, you got to pay attention to the height first and foremost. Um, secondly, age with uh, secondary is really important because these guys have to cover those wide receivers you know they have the most movement they have to make so you know their speed is crucial basically is what I'm saying um, and that brings me to the next step which is speed and acceleration which I think after height is the next most important stat for anybody in the secondary because you have so much ground to cover you gotta keep up with these fast wide receivers you know you gotta cover the deep stuff you gotta cover the short stuff you just gotta cover a lot of ground um, strength I would say matters more so for the safeties um, and you know again that goes along with the middle linebacker outside linebacker thing um, the safeties you know you want those guys to be able to make plays um, also awareness for safeties matters a lot because they're gonna be covering a lot of ground and corners you know you just gotta cover your guy um, catching after after uh, speed and excel I think catching is the most important stat and this is simply because you don't get too many opportunities to get interceptions so when you do get your chance and you make a good defensive play it just sucks when the ball just bounces off your guys hands and you don't get the huge turnover that could be the difference between you winning and losing the game and that's why I say catching is next important and then um, jumping um, it's the same reason as height jumping is crucial um, if you're in a zone you know you're gonna be able to cover more ground if you're taller you're gonna be able to cover more ground and you know if you got higher jumping you'll be able to at least contest the ball against the likes of a you know Calvin Johnson or whatnot so you know that is what it is um, as far as tackling goes it's not too important for the corners but for the safeties oh man just like the linebackers man you want these guys to have high tackling and high hit power because you want them to force them fumbles LeRon Landry you know some of the other guys in the league man they really got that pop on them uh, you know Ryan Clark here uh, which is another reason why those Steelers, man, they're super tough. They, you know, they got linebackers and safeties that are just knocking people out all over the place. So, you know, that's important. Um, play recognition, I find, is important for the safeties. And then uh, for the corners, more specifically, man coverage and press coverage. Um, it's going to help your guys out. Um, Darrell Revis, he rarely falls for, you know, some of the simple routes that work on other corners in the game. I'm not saying he's like a lockdown corner on the game because we all know that the corner position hasn't been what it should be in Madden. But, you know, he doesn't fall for the simple stuff. Um, and for the safeties, I find that the zone coverage is more important because obviously they're either going to be in a deep zone or, you know, they're going to be in a short zone or something. Unless you're blitzing a lot, in which case then, yes, the man coverage would be important. Um, for corners and secondary, stamina means a lot. I mean, they don't get injured too often because, again, they don't get as much action as the offensive side of the ball. You know, they're rarely going to come across a lot of hits in the game. So stamina is important, though, because, you know, a lot of guys run hurry up, and, you know, these guys are running streaks with the wide receivers. You know, they're running those long routes with them, so they got to be able to keep up. And then, uh, you know, contracts for you franchise guys, so always pay attention to that. Um, check out this slide again. This will be the last segment. I hope you guys really enjoyed this series as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Until next time.